Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about completing Scenario 1 for our Week 1 assignment up inside of DSI N141. So before we begin our Week 1 assignment and start working on that first scenario, this would be a great time to get organized. Now this is how I go about creating an organized file system up inside of my local machine to do all of my assignments. Now for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my File Explorer. Once I'm up inside of File Explorer, I'm going to go to Documents. Once I'm up inside of Documents, I'm going to right click. From the Context menu, I'm going to select New. And I'm going to select Folder. I'm going to call this folder APUS. I'm then going to open up my APUS folder. And right click inside of the right window pane. And from the Context menu, select New. And the second folder will have the name of the course. So I'm going to call this DSIN141 and leave it at that. Now I'm going to open up this course folder and I'm going to create a weekly folder. This one will be for week one. I'm then going to open up my week one folder. And this is where I'm going to download those attachments for the week one assignment. Let's see how I do that. So I'm back up inside of the week one assignment. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and you'll see that this is where I'm going to find the attachments that I need to complete both of these scenarios. I have an attachment that is named week one scenario one dot zip. I'm going to go ahead and double click it. I'm going to save it and I'm going to browse on over to my documents. Open up my APUS folder, open up my course folder, open up my week one folder and that's where I'm going to save it. I'll do the same thing with the Scenario 2 zip file. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back up inside of my course folder, up inside of week 1, and I'm going to find both of those zip files that I downloaded, and I'm going to extract the contents. I'm going to start off with Scenario1.zip. I'm going to double click it. Here up inside of the Windows Explorer, we have the option to extract everything. I'm going to go ahead and select the option to extract all. I'm going to accept the default location and then I'm going to click extract. There's the scenario one folder. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to cut. Up in the path for my folders, I'm going to select week one. I'm going to right click inside of this white window pane and I'm going to select paste. I'm now going to delete the week one scenario extracted folder and hold down my control key and delete the week one scenario one dot zip folder. I'm going to right click on them and from there I'm going to select delete. That leaves the scenario two zip folder. Again, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to go ahead and extract all, accept the default location and select extract. Again, I'm going to take that Scenario 2 folder that's been extracted, right click, I'm going to cut. Up inside of the path for my folders, I'm going to select Week 1. I'm going to right click inside of the right window pane, and I'm going to select Paste. I'm now going to delete the Week 1 Scenario 2 extracted folder along with the Week 1 Scenario 2.zip folder. Now all I have inside of my week one are the scenario one and the scenario two folders that contain the images that I need to complete my week one assignment. I'm now going to create an assignment folder. To do this, I'm going to right click inside of the right window pane. I'm going to go to new. I'm going to select folder and I'm going to call this completed assignments. I'm going to open up my completed assignments folder. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Scenario 1. Like so. And I'll do the same thing for Scenario 2. We're now ready to begin completing the first of the two scenarios for our Week 1 assignment. Let's go ahead and close out all of our windows. Let's go ahead and open up our Adobe Photoshop. To do this, I'm going to go down to the Start button. In the search bar, I'm just going to type in Photo. I'm going to find my Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to right click and select Run as Administrator. So let's look at the instructions for Scenario 1 and let's look at what it tells us we need to do. The first thing we need to do is open up the following files inside of Photoshop. We have the Toy JPEG, the Dog JPEG, Girl JPEG, and the Cat JPEG. 
Second thing we're going to do is we're going to set the screen mode to full screen mode with menu bar. Now the best trouble free way that I have found to import images into Photoshop is to go to file and go to open. Let's go to our documents. Let's go to our A plus folder. Let's go to our course folder and then let's go to our week one folder and finally into our scenario one folder. Here you see the different images that we have to import. So I'm going to start off by just double clicking the cat. I'm now going to repeat the process for the remaining three images that I need to bring into Photoshop. I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Open, and I'm going to click on the image for the girl.jpg. I'll do that again. I'll go to File, Open. I'm going to find the dog.jpg. Double click that. Finally, I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Open, and I'm going to find the toy.jpg. I've now imported all four of those files that I need for Scenario 1. And you'll see that there are four tabs available inside of the workspace. The next thing we have to do is change our view. I need to change my view from Screen Mode to Full Screen Mode with Menu Bar. Again, I went to View. I went to screen mode and I selected the option for full screen mode with menu bar. The next thing it tells us to do is to float all the images and drag them to arrange them so that a portion of each one is visible. Then we're going to tile all the images vertically. To float all four images I'm going to go up here to window. From here I'm going to select arrange and from the right context menu, I'm going to scroll on down till I come to Float All in Windows. We next need to arrange these windows so that all four images are showing or that a portion of each image is showing. What I'm going to do now is just pull these over like so. And I'll go ahead and give them some space here so that I can see each one of them. Like so. And we're going to do it like that. Now you can see a portion of all four images. Our next step is to tile all the images vertically. Then we're going to do a tile four up. To tile all of my images vertically, I'm going to go back up to the window. I'm going to click on Arrange. And then I'm going to select from the context menu, Tile All Vertically. The next step in the assignment tells us to tile four up. To do that, I'm going to go back up here to Window. I'm going to go to Arrange, and from the Context menu, I will select 4 Up. The next thing it tells us to do is to take a screenshot of the four images. We're going to name the file Last Name, First Name, Week 1 Scenario. Let's go ahead and see how we do that. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can capture a screenshot up inside of Windows. You have a print screen key that is in line with your function keys all the way over to the right. If you press the print screen button, you'll be able to save this entire image as a JPEG. And then you'll have that part of the scenario covered. I like to use a free utility called GreenShot. You can download this from the internet. Then when I'm ready to create a screenshot, I'm just going to press my print screen button like so then I'm able to select the screen that I want to save so instead of saving everything I can just select the images that I want to save such as in here like so let it go and now I'm just going to copy this over to my paint program and inside my paint program I'm going to do a file do a save as and I'll save it as a JPEG I'll save it on over to my documents, my course folder, up inside of week one, completed assignments, scenario one, and I'm just going to go ahead and replace this file with that name. And I'll just say OK to that. And now when I go over to my saved file up inside of that particular folder for week one, you'll see that I have saved that image up inside of my assignment folder and it's ready to be turned in.
Okay, so we've taken the screenshot of the four images. So we're now down to step number six. Close the toy JPEG. Let's go ahead and go back up inside of our Photoshop. Let's go ahead and close this file just by clicking on the X here. Now I have three images showing. Let's go back on over to the instructions and see what else we have to do. Change the arrangement of the three remaining images by dragging and placing them on the workspace as desired. So this is subjective. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave my three images the way I have them. But if you want, you can go ahead and just grab the tiles up here at the top and you can move them over any way you want. And if you so desire, you can go back on up here and you can go to window and you can arrange them to tile vertically. You can arrange them to tile horizontally any way you want to arrange them. Back at the instructions and step number eight. Consolidate all back to tabs and then close the grill.jpg file. Let's see how we do that. So I'm going to go back up here inside of my Photoshop. And I'm going to go ahead and close out the grill.jpg. Now I have just two images waiting for me. And I'm going to push these all back to being on tabs. To do that, I'm going to go to Window. I'm going to go to Arrange. And we're going to consolidate all to tabs. In step number nine, it says, view the remaining two images side by side to determine whether or not they would provide an interesting composite if combined and submit your findings. So up inside of the text box, when you submit your file for the week one scenario one, you can give me a short little blurb about whether you think these two files complement each other or the two images do not complement each other. Whatever your feelings are, just go ahead and write me up a short paragraph, two or three sentences is fine. That's all I'm looking for. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about completing Scenario 1 for our Week 1 assignment. You got any questions, you got any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.